Mine's 160. Yeah. Ow! Kibbles! Did I look at the right stat? Melee damage, 125. Huh. Yeah. So yours is higher than mine. I am also using the um, metal axe. Now those trees I did notice gave me less. Oh, so this area just specifically gives less, apparently. That's kind of what it seems. Okay, mm. well, now we're going to have to start using pillars and um, ceilings. We have a ton of thatch at the office. I mean, at the, at the house, luckily. Motherfucker, get off the trike! I'm trying to move it! I don't know why. I just put all of my wood inside of the parasaur. <laughs> Did it really weigh you down? Yeah, I'm trying to move it because it's in the way. Did I actually weigh it down just from standing on it? There we go. Gosh, I still have all the wood inside of the par paradon. I wish there was a way to transfer resources from one dinosaur to another. There is. It's called parking near one and then moving it into the other. I'll talk about like just with a click of a button. Just darn it, kibbles. So what is the point of having a um, iglodon? A what? The the iglodon thing right here behind us. You mean the iguanodon? Yeah, that. Well, it, it's basically like a parasaur, oh, but better. Oh shit! 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 Uh, uh, Charlie. Speaking of shit, shit. Uh, you got two. I know. I cut down a tree. Ah, shit. And I got bit by an ant. Here, turn around. Run back towards me. I got him. They just took down another tree. Uh, where are you? Oh, fuck, what hit me? Are they faster than this guy? Well, of course they are, Charlie. What do you think? You get a big four-ton animal running at you? Got some momentum behind it? Yeah, it's faster than you. I forgot it has the charge ability. Do I need to be tranking it? No, Charlie! I want you to take it on a Sunday dinner! Maybe introduce it to your parents! I or, I it. don't know, maybe maybe just giving him a very cheap, poorly dressed blowjob. That, that'll help. He's down. He's strength. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, he's still attacking you. He's strength. Are, are we going to kill him? Yeah, we're going to kill him. You're going to harvest him for hide. Okay. Use the axe. Yeah, and the words of Steve, what's in Phoenix? What's in Phoenix? Why, it's your mama, Steve! Now get the axe! It's like that I thought you were attacking him. Charlie, like, go pick the damn carcass over there. Oh, I thought you did. Sorry. No, I'm I'm riding this pteranodon. I'm not using picks. What sort of unspeakable character do you think I am here? I'm rather insulted so, that you would even believe I would sink to such a low level. 
No, what's bad is I just cut down a tree and they all attacked me. Yeah, they all attacked you. They're a herd animal, dumbass. I know. Well, that's what I'm saying is I only cut down a tree. I didn't even mean to hit it if I did. That's because you bit through the tree. Probably did. Oh, there's another stegosaur up here, by the way. How much more wood do you need? Uh, I think this will be uh, good for this edge. So, a lot more. Thanks. I mean, you might as well just keep it coming. I'm not going to calculate this out. That's fine. I'm going to go drop off the hide and this keratin as well. I don't have... I have a little bit of thatch. I'm going to drop off a bunch of this stuff that I have with me. So do you like have all of the, are, are you doing reinforced stuff or just normal? Charlie, yeah. it's stone, you imbecile. I mean, they have like reinforced shit. Charlie, reinforced is stone tier. Well, I know that, but there's the stone walls and there's reinforced stone walls. Oh my god, Charlie. What? You're an idiot. Just saying. No, there isn't a reinforced stone anything. I don't know where you're getting that from, but you're wrong. Oh, well, that's where I saw it. There is about to be one less Charlie in this stream. Ignore the screams. Okay, it's raining, but yet I'm hot. It's a dry heat. <laughs> yes, here in Louisiana, get tired of hearing that shit. Okay, Charlie, I need you to go back to collecting stone now. Motherfucker. That's fine. Uh, ah, ah! Oh, I survived. What happened to you? Oh, I fell off the cliff, but I survived. Alright, so stone. Not by fist. Y yes, you need to use the metal hatchet. Why the metal one? Because it gathers more than the wood. They make wooden hatchets? Well, you know, the primitive hatchet that's made out of a piece of flint. Now, oh, Charlie, yeah, flint. I keep I'm, thinking I'm, it's about, stone, I'm about to start shanking you over here if you don't get to work. I'm, I'm, you, I'm, I'm cutting. Informing. I'm getting stone right now. Now, now look, we're about to get all Lewis and Simon of the Yogs cast here, and I'm going to start poking you with a stick until you start performing better. Oh, but the poking me with the stick is the part that makes me excited. Y yeah, well, the poking that's going to be happening is not the kind you're thinking of. By the way, we have that on recording now. I'm definitely going to tell Cassie you said that. And she's going to say, I knew it. I knew he was gay. No, not that kind of poking. No, no, no. You, you, you know perfectly well it was that kind of poking, you sick pervert. No. Yes. Yes, you, you sick sex pervert. You're hot. You should find the place to cool down. Fuck you. Now you're saying that you're you you want to fuck the advice giver? What 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 kind of sick weirdness do you two have? I just almost walked off the fucking cliff, man. Give me some break. Well, I did fucking walk off the cliff, and I'm still all right. What's your fucking excuse? Well, I almost did it in a paradox. And a parasaur. You could walk off the cliff with the pteranodon and survive. Paradon. Parasaur. Sorry. Again. Words. Alright, well, there's a handful of stone. Keep getting it. 
I am. I'm just saying there's a handful to work use with. The, use my Pteranodon, go over to that island next to Red Ob, and just get as much stone as you can. Don't bother using the Parasaur to go up and down. Well, need... I, I wasn't. I was I was getting the stone right there next to our base from those giant-ass boulders. Hold on. Before you go flying off, yeah, make sure Mechasaur isn't following you. <laughs> was he following me? Yeah, he was about to go off the fucking cliff. Why is mine over here? Because you brought it over here. But I didn't leave it. Yes, you did. You definitely did. I don't remember doing this. I'm happy it wasn't following me, too. Yes, and I'm sure it's happy that it doesn't have to look in your general direction. So yeah, our whole plan to steal Noah's final boss. So we talked about this last time we recorded, about how Charlie's character basically, uh, basically tripped some serious balls. Now, here's my question. What if he, like, vetoes this and says it's not possible? Like, just tells us where we can Then we, we say that. he is full of bullshit. Here's the plan. You remember how I picked up some of those vampire-killing darts that you were like, No, no, my demon says not to let you have those. And I talked you into it. Here's the plan. What I am going to do is... I am going to get those two black bomb drinks that you got a hold of. W one of them... I am going to inject into his dinner that night. The other... If it, do if it fails to bring him down through poisoning him in his dinner... The other I was just going to shoot into the nearest piece of exposed flesh he has. Alright. But again, what if the DM just says that that's not a thing? Then we say that's some horse shit and we go on with his stupid plan. I mean, that's kind of the thing about him being the game master is that, that that's the whole point of it. Like, he designed the character as a boss to be fought, not to be kidnapped. Well, Charlie, you know, I designed a lot of shit in my last campaign, and you fuckers didn't do anything, so... I mean, you could have easily said, no, you can't do that. You very easily. Like, that's the whole point. Like, even in the one I'm designing, there are characters that cannot be influenced. Yeah, and Now, there, there's, and like, that, only that is, two or three. Don't get me wrong. That, that is some fucking bullshit. Well, the problem, the reason they can't be influenced is because if you can influence them, then you cannot complete the game. Like you have to be able to get their information. Well, this isn't one way or another. That, like, though. huh? This isn't that though. I know. Noah said that the entire purpose of this campaign was to, and I quote, "get off the fucking island." And that is true. He he didn't say, oh, you're going to have to fight him. And you're right, that is true. Now, he you're said, right. he did say, uh, he's going to fight you. And I'm like, why? And, and, and that is true. You, you, you're right about that. Um, But in like mine, the only reason you can't influence them in any way is this literally because if you do... You'll like, be story locked. Yeah, you, you'll just be story locked. Now, you could get the information however way you want, but there's just certain things you can't do. Like, I won't let you kill certain characters, because if you do, then you cannot complete the story unless you just luckily, randomly guess the information. So I don't want the character that gives you the information to die. I'd rather you be able to actually have a chance to it, but you could also still randomly guess it. Okay, Charlie, I need you to start gathering some thatch now. Uh, yes, we've got plenty of that already that I've been not bringing over here. <laughs> well, that's fine. But I'm not going to run to the house to go pick it up. I'm just going to go to this tree and cut it down with a pickaxe. Yeah, use the pickaxe, Charlie. Use the pickaxe. 
use the force, Luke. I did not get shit for that. But yeah, so the plan is for me to stealthily infiltrate into the palace, poison him in either one way or another, wait for him to lose his shit, and once he's on the ground, just sort of casually throw him out the window, and once he's on the ground floor, uh, drag him as quickly and as quietly as possible to the longboat, take him back to the ship where we will proceed to restrain him using your demonic chain thought. Uh, don't think demonic chain is mine. I think that right there is Matthew's. No. Or you talk about my, um, or you talk about Your ability to summon a bound weapon with... Okay, it, that. With proficiency to it. That way... We could basically, um, <sighs> that, that would make sense. Um, yeah. how much thatch? All of it. Cause you know, I like fucking need it for stuff. That's fine. I'm going to throw away this extra flint that I just have on me that I don't want to keep on me. Yeah, actually, you know what? I should throw mine away too. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll degrade over time, but I'm just getting more as I do this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> At least they stay for two minutes, just in case. So, let's go get more thatch. I keep hitting yeah. I to open up the inventory to do my upgrades on my dinosaurs. It's F. It's, uh, yeah, F. I don't remember putting stone in the helm. Well, maybe you already had. I didn't know I put any stone on him. But yeah, I don't think Noah would dare just say, no, you can't do it. Because Noah, it, he's too much of a reasonable person here. I mean, just one of those black bombs put you a seven foot tall, slightly robotic elf thing through the fucking floor. <laughs> yes, it did. Oh my god, and I Two so of wish. Them stealthily inserted into an apple or maybe whatever the hell he eats. I don't know, glittering fairy shit. I, I'm not an expert on his character. But, I mean, two of them stealthily put into his food that should be more than enough to make his ass go down. Yeah. You know? And I I even if he is a big dude, you know, it, it doesn't take a whole lot to throw a fucker out the window. Are yeah. these more ants? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, Titanomir will do ant stuff. Yeah, there it's an ant drone. Does that, that mean that there's more nearby? Uh probably not, no. Uh you know, they always hinted that they would be considering adding in a queen ant, but they really haven't. Yeah, but titanomeras were very big ants. Yeah, they are. I'm literally hitting each tree like once and it's falling over. Yeah, I know. Just, you know, fucking clearing out a rainforest over here. Well, don't worry. All we gotta do is leave render distance and all the trees will be back. I'll just, just straight up leave it and they instantly respawn? Uh, they respawn pretty damn close to the house. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm already out of water again, damn it. Um, I'm about to borrow your Paradon. Uh, I need water. Okay. I can last a minute or two more without water. Do you need... Oh, I'll bring a water skin back full for you. You got wood with that, too? Uh, did I drop wood off? No. Oh, uh, give me a little bit. I probably did. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 I'll bring you a water skin. Hey, you know something? I, just, I, I was just reminded. Um, do you remember the movie Pokemon Forever? Oh, uh, yeah. It's actually one of my favorite Pokemons. Yeah, the one with Celebi in it. Yeah, I'm also starving, apparently. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I got some meat. I can hand you some up here. 
I got plenty of food as well. Yeah, I just loved that ending to it where Celebi's... I didn't like the way Celebi looked in that because it was just sad. All right, in the uh, trike, there's a water skin with some yeah, water in it. Just, just put it back uh, whenever you're done. Split half, and here's some meats. Oh, that works too. Oh wait, no, I I just I just hit E. There you go. There's an O. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was just both beautiful and very sad that Celebi's just lying there dying in the pool of water, and Ash is just pathetically trying to help it, and then all of a sudden, all these fucking Celebes show up singing and smiling and doing Celebi things. Did and you drink like, any water? Yeah, I did. I just went to drink water. Yeah. Oh, you left with the Paradon to drink water. I, I left you the yeah. water skin to drink water. Yeah, pumpkin fucker, I drank water. Well, I now I need water more. the old-fashioned way, you know? You just go over to the side of the lake and you dunk your head in. Well, I, I did that and I brought you some back. And then I ate a bunch of berries that made me thirsty again. Yeah. Wait, what berries are you eating that make you thirsty? I don't know. I'm just eating all of them. Stop eating the white berries, Charlie. The white berries are not good for you. Is it the white berries that do it? Yes. White berries make you thirsty. Okay, well, I also ate some narc berries, so... Well, narc berries make you unconscious. I'm aware of this, but I didn't have many. It really doesn't matter if you had very little or many. It, it's not a good idea. I know. Charlie, why is your parasaur running off by itself? I'm on it. I don't see you on it. Do you not see it collecting berries? Okay, now you're on it. I'm currently collecting some berries. So I at least have some backup. Oh, and he said you, you still need that, right? Uh, now I'm... Yeah, I just need a lot of wood, thatch, and stone, basically. Just keep collecting that. What are you killing? Is that thatch uh, and stone? Yeah, wood, thatch, and stone. That's that's basically all I need now. We're on the final stretch. Well, I say that this is just the final stretch of what will be the laying of the foundations. We still have the entire thing to do with the... Um, but basically, we're nowhere near done. Seriously, making a big stone structure is very hard to do. But once you do, you're effectively safe from everything up to a giga. Yep. Oh, but those Brachios can, in fact, break stone. I'm fully aware. They could break just about anything. Yeah, they can break tech. They can break a lot of shit. That's a stegosaurus. I don't want to cut nothing down near it. Yeah, we'll have to go hunting for an Argentavis. Oh, what? An Argentavis. What is that? It's a very big vulture. Oh. Yeah, very big vulture, and it's very good at carrying uh, dinos in its claw. So we could use it to carry something like an Ankylosaur. Or a Doodicarus. Back to the base. Why are there so many of those little fuckers around here? Uh, what do you mean? Copies, little Trudons? The, the ones that we keep killing around here. Oh, the Meganura? Yeah, those really small fuckers. Oh, the Dragonfly fuckers. Uh, they're actually everywhere. No, no, not the Dragonfly ones. The ones that run around on the ground. Oh, you mean the, um, the Titanomir. Sure. Again, they're also everywhere. You're in a tropical climate, there's... Lots of fucking ants all over the damn place. No, no, not the titanium. Sorry. Uh, 
So what's I keep attacking my parasaur? The compies. 